Hey guys, so today we start off super close and personal. We're going to be doing a tutorial using the new Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette. I am so excited about this palette because I've had my eye on it for quite a minute. I have all the other little palettes and I'm just obsessed. So I'm excited to play with this today with you guys. So I already went ahead and did my eyebrows. I also kind of like shaped them a little bit and then I put a base on my lids. For the base, I use MAC Painterly Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. It does definitely look, you can still see kind of the lines of my brows, but once I go in with foundation and everything, it'll be definitely pretty clean and just better. Okay, so we have all these fun colors and I just don't even know where to dive in, but you can see you have a good range of colors that you can wear on your crease, on your lid, and then you have two really pretty shimmer colors that are just wearable with all of these shades, which is something that I really appreciate. Um, so let's just go ahead and find the colors that work for us today and put those on our lid. Well, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is just kind of add some tape. And we just want to kind of follow the lines. I haven't used tape in a long time, like a really long time. So what I like to do is go from this bottom right here all the way to where my brow ends because if I go too high up, it's gonna look really weird. So I literally just take it from the end of my eye to the end of my brow. Okay. So I'm gonna first start with this middle shade right here. I feel like it's the perfect transition base. So we're just gonna be putting that right on our crease. And because I have hooded eyes and they fold, I like to look really straight ahead. And you can see the color start to build up. Looks absolutely beautiful. And I like to use a nice big fluffy brush like this one because you need something that's really gonna blend out the color but not overly blend it. So that's why I just keep going back and forth. I don't go like in circular motions yet because I feel like when I do use circular motions right away as I'm building my crease, it diffuses out the color way too much. And then we're gonna build it with this shade right here. Right now we're focusing on the colors in the middle aisle and just kind of really getting that color. And you really do not need to use a lot because these shades are really nice and pigmented. And I also think it really helps that I went in with um, the MAC Painterly Paint Pot just to carve out my brows and kind of set the um, eye area because I feel like whenever you go in with a base, it really helps you get a color that you want. It just helps it look so much brighter and more intense. So it's pretty awesome. Now we're gonna be taking this pretty like brown shade terracotta. You do not want too much of it because you already have so much of the other two colors. You just want like that much, very little. And then you can start building it and we're only gonna really build it on this edge. And the reason I'm really just keeping it on that edge and not taking it too far is because sometimes when I take it all the way out to here, I notice that this part starts to become harsh. So I just leave it on the outer edge because that's usually where we smoke out anyway. So I just kind of leave it there and then let it do its own thing. So I really go in and blend that back and forth as many times as I possibly can and kind of just leave this corner open. And you can see how much that tape helps. So it kind of already starting to give you the line and it separates the shadow from the skin so that when you do take the tape off, it looks very nice and precise. Now you don't have to do the tape method. You could just go back in with concealer and really clean it. But sometimes I feel like this tape method makes it look really, really nice and just perfect. So now that we have that part and we built all those three colors, as you can see, it looks so gradual and it's because we really made sure to not use too much of it. Um, now we're gonna go in and start cutting our crease and putting on the next layers of this eyeshadow. So you guys know the drill. I like to use the um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to cut out my crease. And all I do is put it on the back of my hand. Just do like a few little stripes of it. I'm taking this Dalian Tools brush and we're gonna go ahead and cut the crease with it because it's so nice and precise.
I'm always really quiet when I do this part just because I'm always scared I'm gonna mess up if I talk too much. And me doing this step really helps me because I have hooded eyes. And if I don't do this, like you will not be able to see my, um, my eye makeup. It's just gonna be like a blob. Okay, so now that we cut it, we're gonna go ahead and use our um, powder. This is just translucent powder. And we're gonna go ahead and just set it because I don't want it to start creasing. So I'm just taking my powder, getting rid of those little creases. Okay, so now we're gonna be taking this yellow. You guys know that I could not complete a look without using a yellow. So we're gonna be using this yellow right here. And let's hope that it's really nice and pigmented. Ooh, yes, okay, perfect. It's like, please don't let me down. You're the color that I wanna try out the most. We're only gonna be keeping it in this area right here because we are going to be using a few more colors on the lid. And I think we're gonna build it a little bit more because we want it to be as bright as it can be. And then we're gonna be taking this shade right here, which is kind of like an orangey, like a coral shade. And we're gonna be putting it in the middle. I feel like this color is definitely muted. So I'm gonna take a mixture of these two up here. The main focus is just making sure you blend those colors together the yellow and the coral colors. And then in the outer edge, we're gonna be taking this nice like tangerine color. It looks so beautiful. I wanna see how it'll perform. Mm, I don't like it. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back in with the dark color that we used. I think that looks better because it pops more. I feel like the shimmer was not popping enough. I would have to use Mac Fix Plus and I also felt like it looked kind of weird on that outer edge. I feel like keeping it matte was probably smarter. Okay, so now that we did that, we're gonna go back in with our fluffy blending brush that we used in the beginning. And we're just gonna blend just the outer edge because we really want that outer edge to really pop. Then we're gonna go back to the first shades that we used. We're gonna take all three of them and just make sure that we pop that in the middle. So this turned into a matte look, which I wasn't expecting, but you know what? I'm gonna go with it because I haven't done like a pure matte look in a second. I always incorporate a shimmer. I mean, who knows? We still might like to our inner tear duct, but I think we're gonna keep the lid shimmer free. So now, moment of truth, we're gonna remove the tape. Ah. Be careful, be gentle, especially if you have rosacea. Oh my God, yes. That was so perfect. Okay, so I'm wearing this like little cat ear headband and let me just tell you guys, that shit hurts. I'm trying to be cute and shit, but that shit hurts. So now we're going to be doing our eyeliner and we're not gonna be doing a wing or anything. We're just gonna be doing regular eyeliner. Okay, so I have this like trooper liner. It's the Kat Von D tattoo. I wanna see how this works. Oh wow, this shit is intense. Hmm, Kat Von D, I've never used this liner. I'm sure some of you guys are like, girl, what the hell? This was just like one of those like samples that was laying here and I was like, let me just try it. Wow, now I know why people love this eyeliner so much. Okay, so this eye is finished. It's crazy how much faster I go when I am doing it off camera, probably because I already knew what I was doing on this eye, um, but it's just, it's wild. Um, so now we're gonna be taking our eyelash. So we're gonna be using these lashes there in the style Cake Face by Cake Face Beauty. Check them out, I will have them linked down below. They're the perfect eyelash for when you want like drama, but you don't want intense drama, but you still want like people to be able to see the back of your eyeshadow. I know a lot of times like when you're wearing really dramatic lashes, it'll block the look. So when you want people to see the look, this will make it be able to be seen. So we're gonna be taking some Duo Lash Glue.
And then we're just gonna kind of let it dry and then we can kind of mess around with it a little bit more, but I kind of just like to let it sit for a second. Do you see what I mean? Like, you can still see the shadow, but it kind of flares outward. So you can still see what's going on. I just love them, they're so beautiful. Okay, so now that we finished off the eyes, we are going to go ahead and start with the skin, which is probably our favorite part, especially now that the skin's getting better. So I'm ready to give you guys a good update on my skin, my rosacea. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna be starting off with our Farsali oil. This is the Rose Gold Elixir. Um, it's really good stuff, especially if you have like really bad dry patches or you have like dryness or you just want some radiance. So this is really, really good. Um, it's a good prepping tool for your skin and I just feel like it does everything it needs to do. So I really am enjoying it. Um, so I'm going to quickly tell you guys about my skin. So rosacea, it's actually gotten pretty better. Um, obviously there's still that redness. The redness is never going to go away. That's not really my big concern. I feel like my big concern was like all the texture I had and the flare ups that I usually get when it's really hot out so that they have gone down a lot. The only thing right now is that my skin's really dry, but the flare ups have gone down and it's not like burning or anything like that where it's like unbearable to do anything with the skin. I only use that on my cheeks um, to like really prep them and make sure that whenever I do put on the foundation, it's not going to be dry. But I like to do this first and I also like to do this like a little bit before I put on the foundation because I really just want my skin to soak up those oils. So now we're gonna do the rest of the primer. So we're gonna be using our Tatcha Silk Canvas. It's been a second since I've used this to be honest and it's not because I don't like it, it's just because my skin has just been so like dry and like very like sensitive and weirded out by like using too much stuff. So I've been using like the Fenty Beauty, the one that's more like hydrating. Um, but this is by far my favorite when I want like perfect skin, when I want it to look smooth, when I want it to be poreless, the silk canvas is what I use. And what I like to do is really warm it up in the back of my hand. And we're not going to take it too far in just because you guys know my situation with the cheeks. So I'm just going to be placing it pretty much on my T-zone. And I also want to tell you guys, if you guys do have dry skin, I wouldn't really recommend this because it will definitely kind of it's a thicker consistency primer for sure. It's a dream come true for oily skin people and also people that have like really enlarged pores. Usually I would say somebody that has really enlarged pores tends to have more oily skin. Um, not in all cases, but that's just what I've seen the most of. So now we're gonna be moving on to our foundation. So I've been using the CoverGirl foundation. This stuff is really, really good. I definitely have been enjoying it. It's definitely a really cool foundation at the drugstore. And I just feel like CoverGirl came through, like they actually came through. I did a review, which I will have linked up here so that you guys can go ahead and check it out. But I'm in the color M70, Sand Beige. But I do wanna talk about some other foundations. So right now, there are so many new foundations coming out. It's insane. I actually just ordered the um, ColourPop No Filter foundation which I am so excited about guys like I cannot wait to review that I'm a huge fan of their concealer their affordability I think $12 for foundation is a really good deal um I also saw that the Dior foundation the face and body is coming out and I will be purchasing that for sure it looks very interesting a lot of the foundations that are coming out are matte foundations which is really surprising um I also want to try the lawless foundation I think that one is more hydrating, which I'm kind of intrigued by. So I'm definitely gonna be checking that out. And then I think there's another foundation at Target, Target, that I wanna check out as well. It's called Haley's Foundation. It's supposed to be like a soft matte foundation, but it's like a new brand at Target with a bunch of other new brands that they've launched there. They actually also launched Reina Rebelde there, which is a Latina owned brand. I try their stuff, love their company, love their brand love their products um but i'm actually really intrigued to try this new foundation brand they have like i think 40 shades of foundation they don't have all of them at target but you can find all of them online and i've heard that it's a pretty good foundation i think tati was like saying how good it was so now i'm going to be taking my kkw beauty concealer and this is in the number six i could probably go a shade up but I don't know, I like to really brighten my under eyes. Now we're gonna be taking some airspun powder and we are going to 
be baking the under eye. We're gonna be taking my other little sponge, which I only use for baking. And we're just gonna literally keep the powder right where we have our creasing. Okay, so now we're gonna be using my favorite bronzer, which is the A Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. And we are just going to be warming up the face a little bit. We're gonna be taking it up here. Just like to look a little bit bronzy, especially now that it's summer. Kind of want to have that bronziness. We're just going to do a little bit of blush. Because we have some redness peeking through, I kind of want to blend that right into our blush. So it looks like a blush look and it doesn't look like there's redness peeking through. So I'm going to be using the Benefit California. I love this shade. So let's go ahead and take my blush brush. This is just a blush brush that I had from like this kit that a friend gave me like back in high school. And I just, I've been obsessed ever since. It's nothing fancy. So we're kind of going to take it inwards just because that's kind of like where the redness lies and i just feel like if we kind of do that it blends the redness into the rest of the look you know what i mean so now we're going to go ahead and take this big morphe brush this is an m423 and we're going to dust off that powder and before we do our highlight and our um, lip gloss I want to go ahead and do a little bit more eye work so now we're gonna be going back into our Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette and we are going to be going in with this shade right here that we used on our outer edges and I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M508 which is the perfect brush to really smoke out your lower lash line and the reason I'm taking that color up here the color that we use on the outer edge is because we kind of want to tie that same color into our lower lash line because it was what we ended with we want to kind of drag that outward so we're going to be taking that color and just really trying to smoke it out as much as we can you don't want to drag it down too much and that's the reason why i love this morphe brush is because some brushes, when you go in and smoke out the lower lash line, it takes it too far down that it just looks so bad and dramatic. I feel like this really diffuses it perfectly where it gives you a nice stopping point, but it also, as you're like kind of blending that out, it really does a good job of diffusing the color as you go. So now for our highlight, we're gonna be using this one, which is kind of like, you know this looks kind of weird and you guys are probably like what is that and i used to talk about this all the time like in i think a year ago i used to talk about this all the time it is actually an eyeshadow it's a liquid metal eyeshadow by catrice cosmetics and it's called we are the Sh oh shit but it's called we are the champagnes and it is such a beautiful color as a highlight like you're about to see so i'm going to be using my anastasia beverly hills a23 brush we're just going to be swirling this bad boy and bam that's that's not a joke okay so for lip we're going to be using two products we're going to be using um this wet n wild liquid lipstick in the color nudist peach and then we're going to be using this orangey gloss by mark jacobs in the color uproar yes this is the lip that i wanted I feel like a lip gloss over a matte liquid lipstick is always the way to go. It just looks so good on the lips and it just like gives you like this nice summer like juicy lip vibe. Now we're going to go ahead and set our face. We're going to be using the MAC Fix Plus matte version of it. I am really excited about this because you guys saw my review. If you didn't, go check it out. I'm going to have it linked up here so you can go check it out. But this kept my skin completely nice and matte. Okay, so this concludes the tutorial for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I was really excited to try out the Coral Obsessions palette. I did play around with it um, prior to me filming just to get kind of like some ideas. But I have to say, this is a really pretty palette. I feel like it's really nice for summer. I know for a fact I will be gravitating towards this palette these next few months. And it's so easy to carry, so you can easily take this anywhere with you, like whether you're going on vacation or whether you're just doing your makeup for the day, I feel like it's easy. It has a good amount of shadows where you don't get too overwhelmed, but you have the ones that you exactly need to just create these fun looks. I enjoy this. If you guys have any other recommendations for future tutorials you wanna see with a specific eyeshadow palette, then please let me know. And that being said, if you guys are new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love for you to become a member of family here on YouTube. I really like have this goal of just us going really far this summer 
becoming a bigger and bigger family. So please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you did enjoy watching this tutorial and want to see more tutorials, then please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Let's me know to continue doing these type of videos. So that being said, I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.